Hello, Calgary Catholic. Brian Zumlis, your Chief Superintendent here. Today I'm at our Indigenous Friendship Centre and I'm joined by our District Elder, Wanda First Rider, and our Supervisor of the Indigenous Team, Cynthia Lanier. And behind us we have this beautiful mural that was painted by an Indigenous artist. And why don't we start, Wanda, maybe you can share a little bit of the significance of this mural. So this mural is really significant to all of us here at the Catholic School District because it talks about our history. So the baby here represents our young people and the elder represents the older people. If you look at the background information there, it represents the mountains and uh, it's affiliated with the land acknowledgement that many of you hear us talking about each day. So it, we talk about the medicines. There's medicines here that are also on the picture. And on the side there, there's a teepee there that's on the side. There's a river that flows through here because the water is very important to us. And the bird in the back. Cynthia, what's the name of the bird? The bird is a red cardinal, which represents um, the murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls. And the cardinal is the bird that searches constantly, and that is why the cardinal represents that. We're reminded of looking for answers. In Calgary Catholic, we have three focal points in Indigenous education, and I'm going to turn it over to Cynthia to share the three things that we've been working on. So the first one is um, honoring the Indigenous knowledge and ways and integrating it in our schools and in our curriculum. The second one is about the sense of belonging. We want our, all of our Indigenous students to feel success academically and, of course, with their spiritual ways. And the third one is working with our communities, um, our Indigenous communities, an authentic relationship with our elder circle that we have. We sit in here and meet in Ape Sitipi Istigaku is the name of this room. We did go through a naming ceremony with Peter Moccasin. So we take it very serious when we work in this room that all people of this land can work together. No one owns the land. We work together. God has created the land. And Wanda, you're a residential school survivor and today is Orange Shirt Day, the International Day for Truth and Reconciliation. What would you like to share with the people listening to our video today? I just want to share that today is a very important day to all of the survivors. And uh, it wasn't too many years ago where we were able to speak about our experiences with the residential school. So for myself as a survivor, I think that Orange Shirt Day is such an important day, not only for ourselves as survivors, but for everyone in Canada to recognize, to understand and learn about Orange Shirt Day and the residential school survivors here in Canada. Well, thank you so much. Uh, people ask me like why I wear this. It was presented to me by our supervisor of Indigenous education and it represents courage. And I think we all need to be courageous. We know how courageous you are, Wanda. And I want everyone to know that we're in this together, truth and reconciliation. So God bless everyone and let's have a very spiritual, prayerful day on Friday today, our Indigenous uh, Truth and Reconciliation Day. Peace.